Girl, it has been a hot sizzling minute since I have sat down and filmed a haul video. Not just any haul video though, an Ulta Beauty haul. I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up at Ulta today. Honestly, I should be doing these haul videos way more often. I go to Ulta all the time. It's my second favorite store other than Target. Literally, if you told me I had to spend 24 hours in there, I would say challenge accepted because they have everything under the sun that I am obsessed with. Nail polish, makeup, skincare, hair care, the list just goes on and on and on. So today I'll be showing you some of my beauty favorites that I have been loving as of late. What I got today is stuff that I use all the time. So anyways, without further ado, we are going to get straight into this haul and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. So let's get started. Okay. So um, can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that they now have these pink bags like ah! honestly it is so much better than orange. Orange is um, my least favorite color if you didn't know that. So I am definitely a big fan of their new pink bags. I'm going to put this on the floor and just reach in and grab things. So the first thing that we have, actually I doubled up on this. We've got some blonde dry shampoo. And um, this actually is tinted blonde. So for all of my fake blondes out there, if you hate when your roots start to show in between hair appointments, this is literally like going to save your life. I usually use this on like second or third day hair. And to be honest, I only wash my hair like twice a week because this stuff is so great. Not only does it absorb oil in your hair, but it also totally camouflages those dark roots that you don't want anybody seeing. So that is why I doubled up. The next thing that I picked up were these Crest 3D white strips. These are supposed to whiten your teeth like a $500 professional level treatment. And I have to say these do really work. You're only supposed to use them two times a year and I always have to remind myself of that. I love these and since it is the beginning of a new year, I can start a new treatment. So I'm really happy about that. In fact, I already used one of these earlier today. So we're already on the white track to whiter teeth. Anywho, next up you guys, I picked up these Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins and I have featured these in some of my previous videos before so you guys might know what they are but if you don't, pretty much these are chewy vitamins that you take for more luscious hair and I really do believe that these work and the best part is they taste so great. Literally, they taste like the blue Scooby-Doo fruit snacks. Anybody remember those? They are that good. Um, just talking about them makes my mouth water. They aren't candy though, so you can't, you know, eat them like candy. You're only supposed to take two a day. But I got two bottles, so that means I am good to go for two whole months. And next up, I got this Rapid Lash Eyelash Serum. And for the longest time, I was using the Grande Lash, but unfortunately, that stuff really irritated my eyes. I mean, it definitely made my eyelashes longer, but it wasn't really worth it because my eyes would be bloodshot red every time I'd wake up in the morning. And I'm like, Ugh, yeah, this can't really be good for my eyes. So I decided to try this stuff right here. And I already went through a tube. I have no idea how long this is supposed to last you, but my first one lasted, I think like four months. So you definitely get your money's worth. And this stuff is great if you don't wanna wear fake eyelashes and you just wanna rock your natural lashes. Um, I am not wearing fake eyelashes today. Um, I kinda alternate between just mascara and falsies. I wear falsies whenever I'm going for a more dramatic look, but today is kind of casual. So I'm not wearing any falsies and thankfully I am able to go without them thanks to this stuff and some really good mascaras. Speaking of eyelashes, I picked up two packs of my favorite falsies ever. I always get so many questions about how I do my makeup, what eyelashes I wear, what mascara I use. So for anyone who was wondering about what eyelashes I wear, um, I alternate between these two. Um, these are obviously very dramatic. They are by Allure and they are the Lux Silk. So here they are. And um, with these, I usually have to trim them a little bit. I didn't realize that you could actually cut them down to your size until recently. So I usually just take a little bit off of the inner corner or the outer corner, whatever I'm feeling. Um, just because if I don't, they really irritate my eye and my eyeball is itchy all day because they are a little bit bigger than my actual eye shape. But I make it work. Um, they are so, so, so stunning on. 
and I just feel like my eyelids can fly away with these because they are dramatic. They're like little, like little butterflies. They can fly far, far away. And then these are my more natural false eyelash option. I mean, when you're wearing falsies, I guess none of them are really natural. I mean, no, they do make those, but they're so natural that it's like, what's the point of even wearing them? These are like medium, you know? They're not like my eyelids are gonna fly away like these, but um, they're somewhere in between. So anyway, these are the Ardell Wispies and this is what they look like. Anytime I put on falsies, I usually top it with mascara because it just blends them in better with your natural lashes. Anyways, we have a few more things in here. All right, we got some hair products. So my favorite brand of hair care is Living Proof. And um, I am so excited to try this. This is the Restore Repair Mask and it's supposed to deeply nourish and reverse heat damage. So I have yet to try this. I literally just bought it, um, but my hair has been super duper dry lately just because of the cold weather. So the last time I went to get my hair done, my hairdresser told me it's just that my hair is dry from the cold weather and it's not damaged or frizzy. I thought my hair was frizzy and I bought this anti-frizz and I'm like, why isn't this working? And it's because it's dry. So yeah, long story short, I'm hoping that this will kind of, you know, make it nice and smooth and silky because no one wants dry, crusty hair. Like, especially not me. Then, ooh, okay, so fun fact. I got this thinking that it was heat protectant, but it's actually hairspray. And I'm totally okay with that because I swear I actually need a hairspray and um, I've never tried hairspray from this brand before. So this is the Living Proof Humidity Shield. So surprise, surprise. I, I guess I didn't read into it as much as I should have, but that's okay. I have high hopes for this. Um, like I said, I do really, really love this brand. So hopefully it'll be good. Next up, I got two face primers that I absolutely swear by, okay? So for all my oily skin girls out there, these are the best. Oh my gosh, I cannot say enough good things about them. So the first primer that we have here is this Smashbox Photo Finish, and it is supposed to minimize pores. And let me tell you, girl, this really does work. I used to suffer with really bad acne and that led me to having larger pores than I would like. So using this literally saves my life. It drastically decreases the size of your pores and just overall gives your skin a really nice base for makeup. And same with this one. I actually like this one a little bit more than the Smashbox one. This is by Benefits and it is the Pore Professional Primer. I go through this stuff so quickly. Um, and again, this just gives you a nice smooth canvas before foundation and it absolutely shrinks the appearance of your pores. We have like three more things, you guys. Uh, next up, we have this Hula Bronzer by Benefit. This is a matte bronzer and I just use this to contour. So I'll put it on my temples. I'll put it on the bridge of my nose, by my cheeks, my jawline. And I also kind of blend it down to my neck sometimes. So. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. We got some Bior Charcoal Pore Strips, and these are probably the most satisfying things ever. Like, girl, if your skin is feeling kind of bleh, just put one of these on your nose, wait 15 minutes, and then peel it off ever so slowly. And, oh, it is just... It's so disgusting in the most satisfying way possible. And then you guys, lastly, I got these two nail polishes. So this is by the brand OPI and it is in the shade, it's a girl. <laughs> That's so cute. I always love reading the names of nail polishes. Am I the only one? Like they're so quirky and like, wow, you find a, a gray nail polish and it's called Shark Scales by the Bay on a hot summer day. <laughs> Maybe not that detailed, but it's always very interesting. And then I also got this silver chunky sparkle nail polish by Essie and the name is Set in Stones. <laughs> See, you put it on after reading that and you just feel so like, Call me Zsa. And that was everything. I'll get that later. So anyways, you guys, that was all for this Ulta Beauty Haul. If you guys like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you would like to see more beauty related videos, then definitely let me know what type of content you would like to see from me next, because I love this stuff. And I feel like I don't have enough makeup, hair, skincare related content on my channel. So whatever you guys would like to see, make sure you let me know what that is in the comment section below. But anyways, I'm gonna go now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk 
talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.